Sully, now he's able to actually just go ahead and focus on the game. And for him to just come off right the gates, almost getting a pretty big victory, such as Abadongo. Uh, this goes to show he's only lacking a little bit more time, but let's go ahead and see what Falcon can do on the return. Must be encouraging, though. Yeah. Um, but yeah, here we go. Pokemon Stadium once again. Got another Falcon coming out against uh, Waifu uh, Lucina here. Which, uh, yeah, I was kind of mentioned something early about Lucina, just kind of being a very uh, vanilla esque character. But mm -hmm. no, nevertheless, Fire Emblem characters are fun. Sorties are also super enjoyable. And yeah, they have those disjointed swords um, as well, which are perfect for matchups like these. Yeah. Her disjoints are pretty, pretty good, but you have to also respect there's a lot of moves that she has that can be negative on shield. So you kind of use them at your own risk and understand yeah. which one might be safe. Might be safer than the other. She's got a pretty good poke with down tilt. Up B still being one of those great moves that you can use as a shield. combo breaker. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of a really good combo breaker. That's one of the things I like about it. It's got a nine frames. Th I'm sorry, uh, up B is a little bit different. It actually has the startup of five frames on the ground, but it's frame one on the air. So wow. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's crazy. And it, yeah, like it, it, it's safe out of shield. Get out of combos and um, yeah, for recovery options too. It's a little hard to like ledge edge guard her Ooh. off the edge. But yeah, looking pretty even here. Both players holding on to three stocks. And it looks like one, they're kind of just waiting for one person to overcommit. Yeah. And why had the right opportunity going for side B, which is Dancing Blade. But you need to slow it down a little bit just to make sure the last hit will connect. And it oh, can okay, get nice you, pair. of course, back air, able to take, take the stock. You have power within the sword to be able to do that. Back air right in Waifu's face right again. And now it's back to even stocks. Yeah. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> One thing I do want to see Waifu go for though is a couple of anti airs up tilt can combo to up tilt early percents like these. So that it allows you to just combo Falcon and then see what he's going to do afterwards. Mm -hmm. Also, like I mentioned, one of the things Lucina has is safe pokes. You can kind of use forward tilt and down tilt as an opportunity. We saw Waifu demonstrate what to do with yeah, down tilt. Yeah, right there. And yeah, not only that, Dancing Blade is also another great option, um, which is her side B move. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it does great damage. Not looking well. great as damage as <laughs> what would have been Falcon's three Raptor boost in the neutral. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, got like was that a reversal uh knee or was it just I don't know, I <laughs> literally I looked away for one second, I just saw him connect the knee. You know, like, oh there it is, good whip punish. The reverse hit of the knee will Ooh. actually also connect good down air, but waifu immediately responds back. Doesn't want to get clipped by it. Falcons love to go for knee, so it's also your understanding that like, I need to watch out for knee. I also need to watch out my timing with my landing because down air, the little spike, and it's really, really good at taking care of that oh, low, yeah. low recovery. Captain Falcons down air is terrifying, and yeah, he's going for a lot of these short hop back airs as well, which are connecting, so mm -hmm. I'm surprised Waifu isn't starting to call out some of these um, short hop aerial options that he's throwing out. Yeah, and that's why I mentioned earlier, like if you want to discourage your opponent from feeling so comfortable with going some of those aerials, up tilt's one of those moves that does really well. Even just jab in general also, like jab has a pretty good arc in front of you. <coughs> oh, watch oh, yeah. out, directional air dodge on the landing. Yeah, and speaking of jabs, yeah, all the characters got um, from the 3.10 patch. Basically, all of their jabs were fixed, kind of touched, so you're not, they're not as easier to fall out of, mm -hmm. um, which is great as well. Okay, oh my god, almost getting <laughs> that F smash. Uh, yeah. Oh, and you said right almost. back at him. <laughs> That's right back at him. <laughs> yep. Alright, and that was Gulu? Yeah, Gulu. Yeah, Gulu. Gulu taking the first game here. Yeah, well, it's definitely pretty close. We're getting a lot of close games going the last stock or the, these game threes. And this mm -hmm. is just showing at this point in time that, like, people are coming out to play from all over. And they're all like great players yeah they're all the melee yeah. communities here yeah. a lot of players from different areas of socal no one was just socal in general the world you know of course we have team japan out here oh yeah dominating so. they always uh come over invade but dominate uh all of the tournaments pretty much that they come out to is crazy yeah and i'm not gonna lie even on the nintendo front from what i'm hearing team japan is looking quite unstoppable over there around that stream so yeah when they're out here they like take nothing but short of a victory we'll see the wife who can find a victory of his own because he's now down one all against gulu okay <clears throat> good forward tilt i mentioned how that's pretty good as a good Excuse option <clears throat> good poke yeah gulu um not barely even being able to touch waifu here um but yeah definitely going to a counter pick stage we've got kalos going on the stage actually um in the beginning they started on spawn points, they made it a little bit closer, so that way yeah. you start off closer, it's not as... Because this stage is pretty big. Yeah. And they definitely want to shorten that distance. 
uh, right off in the beginning, which I thought was actually a, an interesting, like, unique thing that they added, because usually mm -hmm. you would think Nintendo wouldn't think about stuff like that, but... Okay. And you would <laughs> think that life would oh. put that down into <laughs> the knee, and unfortunately, on the recovery there, Google was able wow. to get that back air. And it's a great edge guard. That and he even, like, wanted to, like, solidify it and make sure by going with that down air at the end. Didn't even need to go for it, but wanted to anyways. Yeah, he wanted, uh, to, uh, <laughs> he wanted to send him a message. That's, the, that, that's Captain Falcon for you, too. You gotta overkill. If you ain't overkilling it, then you ain't... Oh, okay, nice yeah, tech. Gonna, you, to finish your theory, uh, if you're not overkilling it, you're not killing it at all. <laughs> yeah, pretty much with Falcon. <laughs> oh, okay. That was... Uh, yeah, he's I was gonna good. say he could have gone off stage and possibly go for a forward air just to make sure, but that's the thing that I'm seeing from Waifu lacking here. He's not going for a lot of off stage plays. It makes sense to go for a forward air there, but when it came down to the crux of it, back then earlier this stock would have been gone like yeah. maybe ten yeah. seconds ago. That was his biggest opportunity too, and it's like you gotta take those risks. And I feel like a lot of ledge guard play and off, excuse me, off the stage play is super important too. You gotta get those edge guards, and that can. You can kill people as early as 70. Like, that, that could be a game changer. Mm -hmm. That's super critical. Down throw. Wait for the... I was going to say, wait for the directional air dodge. It's something you can do and go ahead and follow your opponent's DI afterwards. And we're seeing Gulu throw a, a lot of attacks, but we're not seeing uh, Waifu, like, throw as many as I'm used to seeing coming out from Lucina because she's very safe. Sometimes some players can definitely attribute that to the less buttons you're pressed, the more you're winning. Because mm -hmm. your opponent's pressing the more buttons to make Man. sure they win. But two Falcon up B's, that's going to be able to take in, of course, a knockback after that one. Okay, we've got a little bit of up air strings here, juggles. Mm, oh, okay, yeah, ca uh, reading or kind of catching his um, air dodge onto the stage. Just looks like, I mean... It's even stocks again, but at the same time, it just overall, Gulu just really looks like he's holding um, the stage. Yeah. He's holding neutral pretty dominantly right now. Down throw. Good wide back air to a second one and Ooh. another spike. Gulu looking to make himself a I thought he was going for the knee off yeah. the Yeah. <laughs> he was looking for the setup, too. That was almost super clutch. Uh, he's looking for you know Captain Falcon's yeah. searching for something, especially when he's waiting right down below you, just mm -hmm. waiting for you to make some type of mistake. And when we start off with the matchup in Wife's favor, Gulu has slowly brought this back. That's one of those things about Falcon. He's able to use that speed, and now with the most recent boss, Ooh, no tech. In that what did that, was that? D I feel like that DI, DI yeah was just horrendous. That DI was not the best, unfortunately. But also no tech. But it's really hard because you can tell he kind of wasn't ready for that. Yeah. He thought it was going to make it He didn't recovery. expect that it would put him in a, that teching situation. But that's what separates, in a sense, the boys to the men. Mm -hmm. yeah, a, a boy would not ha have that situation going to, all right, let's go to stage, stage selection. A man here would have actually been ready for that because he's seen us up B sends him into tech situations like that. Oh, yeah, that's, it does. Okay. All the time. Even at those low percents that you think it wouldn't, it, exactly. it will put you in a teching situation around like 40%. And you're like, what? Why did I die? Exactly. Like, so you need to always remember uh, that opportunity when you're going to go ahead and recover against characters like Lucina and when they're going to go for edge cards like that. Yeah. Well, it's crazy. But yeah, we got game three coming out. What did I tell you? I was the same. Uh, pretty much, it's been a lot of game threes today. Yeah. I haven't really seen anyone win super convincingly, and it's been really close. Oh my god. The, thi the, the fact that he just went for that at like... When that, he was at like 10%, it was just yeah. so crazy. That's so cheeky and so Captain Falcon like. Okay. Okay. And that'll do it. Hitting him, catching him with the up to, oh my word. Wow. That spike is so good too. Yeah. Like, it, you don't expect it. Samus has a very similar spike, such as that, and both of them actually can kill. Alright, I like it. Tries to, tries to fade away slowly with that forward air. Goes for the neutral air and he oh. waits for the landing, good upper. Raptor boost to Nair. Mm -hmm. Tried double Nair there, it was interesting. One thing that I'm saying earlier that I really haven't seen from my food, those up tilts. He needs to stop Falcon's aerial approaches. Mm -hmm. And he also, I haven't been seeing him going for a lot of neutral airs. But it's kind of hard because the way Gulu is able to actually maneuver around Waifu and have a lot of that space that Waifu would like to have and be able to go for forward airs and use that disjoint, that's what Gulu is taking away. Staying as close as possible. Great spacing, but a second too late on that forward tilt. Mm -hmm. Kind of hesitated. Saw a tech chase option, but he did not go yeah. for the tech rule. It was, it was a good try for him to throw as well a yeah. lot of times. Uh, players, I would say, tend to roll in. Yeah. 
they tend to roll. So that was a good try. But yeah, definitely catching him again with that back air, taking out the stock. And that's really how he's getting a lot of his um, high kill versions oh. off of waifu here. I would have liked it if he had gone for forward tilt there instead of going off stage. Mm -hmm. I mentioned how he was lacking going off stage, but that one time I was wrong. He should have gone for forward tilt. There he is, and he seals the stock there. He was, was getting greedy. Yeah. He was getting greedy. I think he wanted the knee again, but yeah, that's, uh, it was Lucina's down tilt? What was, I didn't even get to see what that was. That, like, took the stock. Yeah, oh, forward tilt. Oh, look at her foot. Oh, I was like, what just happened? Because I was looking, I was looking at Guru. <laughs> I wasn't looking at <laughs> Lucina. Alright, yeah, getting these double down throws, but not really converting off of them. Goes for forward air. I like it. Now starting okay. to utilize the platform. VT. Oh right. no, he should have chosen to recover. Mm. Great opportunity, barely surviving from the down air. That was so close. Off stage. This time, Gula will make the right opportunity. Recover normal instead of going low. You don't want to do that. We saw how that happened last game. Always mix up your recovery. Ooh. So close. But that was close. Did he hold it a little bit too long? I felt like that's what it was too as well. And not only that, like forward smash has got like a nice. 10 frame startup, but it's active like only 10 to 13 frames and it's negative 31 on shield. So it's about a little bit more than half a second. Yeah, if he would have just released that a little bit earlier, I think that would have been exactly what he was looking for. Oh my gosh. The percent. Yeah, this is going to be really r uh, hard for Waifu to bring this back. Especially because, okay, <laughs> well, here we go. This is a start. This is how it happens. Don't let um when you guys have the lead too. It's like don't always. Okay, oh, that's, gonna be it. that's it's not always it. That's that's one of those things that kind of try to tell people like you don't want to incorporate your game plan, your counter into your game plan unless you 100% know what your opponent's going to be doing. Like you, we usually saw Falcon go for back air when mm -hmm. he's coming back on the ledge. That would have been a perfect time to go for ba for for counter. The problem was you're on stage and Falcon has so much control. Why risk stage control for counter when you should be looking to take control?